Hello and welcome to Levant TV Headlines. Houthi rebels in Yemen have released two Americans, two Saudis and a Briton on Sunday after detaining them for around six months. The Hungarian government has posted ads in Lebanese and Jordanian newspapers warning migrants not to enter Hungary illegally, saying it is a crime punishable by imprisonment. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu flew to Moscow to seek reassurance from President Vladimir Putin about Russia's military deployment in Syria and to lay out Israel's concerns about the risk of weapons reaching militants on its borders. Iran's state TV says Foreign Minister Mohammad Javed Zarif has appointed Mohammad Hassan Habibullah Zadeh as permanent top envoy to Britain. And support for Turkey's ruling AK party has slipped to 39.3% from June's elections. A survey from pollster Gezishi has shown casting doubt on the AKP's chances of forming a single party government after a November 1st vote. Now let's take a look at the top headlines in today's newspapers in the Middle East. Starting from Lebanon, the Daily Star leads reporting that Lebanon is preparing a detailed report on the stages of the aid pledges received from the International Support Group for Lebanon, which will meet at the end of the month in New York. The paper also reports that a major leader of the You Stink campaign has filed a complaint with the General Prosecutor's Office over an assault he says was committed against him by security forces during a sit-in at the Ministry of Environment earlier this month. From the UAE, the Khalij Times leads reporting that Houthi rebels in Yemen released three Americans, two Saudis and a Briton, ahead of talks with the UN envoy to Yemen after detaining them for around six months. The paper also reports that people from all over the UAE and abroad paid glowing tributes to Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who died from a sudden heart attack on Saturday. The Egypt Independent leads reporting that Egypt's army has killed 74 militants in the rest of North Sinai province as an army raid targeting suspected terrorists' hideouts entered its 13th day. The paper also reports that Indonesian workers, specifically housemaids and drivers, have been banned from working in several Middle Eastern countries, including Egypt, according to sources in the Indonesian government. Now let's take a look at the top Middle East headlines from the UK papers. The Guardian leads its Middle East news, reporting that Western governments have been urged by a terrorism think tank to encourage fighters to defect from Islamic State, with measures including offering them protection against reprisals. In a report published on Monday, the British-based International Centre for the Study of Radicalization and Political Violence said that global lawmakers need to remove legal disincentives to those wishing to speak publicly about their newfound hostility to ISIS. The Independent leads its Middle East news, reporting that 13 refugees, including six children, have died after their inflatable dinghy collided with a cargo ship. A Turkish Coast Guard source said a boat carrying 46 refugees towards the Greek island of Lesbos capsized on Sunday after the crash. The Telegraph reports that 75 US-trained Syrian rebels have reportedly crossed into northern Syria days after their beleaguered training program was criticized as a joke. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, a monitoring group, said on Sunday that the fighters entered Aleppo province between Friday night and Sunday morning. Now let's take a look at the top Middle East headlines in the international papers. China's Global Times reports that Israeli security forces have arrested dozens of Palestinians in East Jerusalem for alleged rioting in the largest raid since violent clashes broke out over the city's most sensitive holy site last week. The official Palestinian news agency, Wafa, reported that 19 of the detainees were minors. And finally, Germany's Deutsche Welle reports that in a TV interview on American network CBS, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has welcomed the nuclear deal as a first step toward decreasing enmity with the US. But Rouhani added that the distance, the dis disagreements, the lack of trust will not go away soon. And for more updates, please visit levant.tv. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join us again tomorrow. Bye for now.